Welcome all. Today we are going to verify the power and power factor of parallel RLC circuit and hence verify the results by the power quality analyzer. As you can see the circuit diagram here, we have the AC supply, a meter, watt meter. Then we have uh, three loads, R, L and C. They are connected parallelly, designated by different, different colors. The digital load is designated by uh, red color. This inductive load is designated by a black color and capacitor load is designated by the green color. We will keep our load constant and we will vary L and C. As you know, the vector sum of this total current will be uh, IR plus IL plus IC. Now let us draw the phase. We have to actually verify resonance and we have checked the resultant phases using the power quality analyzer. Right, since we have three loads connected in parallel, the resistive load, inductive load and the capacitive load connected in parallel. So the overall voltage which will be supplying Right, that will be impressed across all the three loads. So the resistive load and the inductive load and the and across the capacitive load. We are taking that voltage as a reference phaser that's represented by this black black phaser BAC equal phase supplied as a reference phaser. Right? And simultaneously the input current drawn from the source I, which it will be the phaser sum of IR plus IL plus IC, this resistive current load, this inductive current is the capacitive current. And in our circuit, what will we, what we will be doing? We'll be fixing the value of resistance. We'll keep uh, it at a, it at a fixed value, and we will interchange the value of L and C to see this resonance effect. Right? As uh, initially, what we, we will do, we will set the value of R for a given value of uh, for a given supply voltage AC, say 200 volts. Right? Since that voltage is impressed across all the three loads, this inductive current will lag that supply voltage by an angle of 90 degree and this capacitive uh, current will lead that uh, voltage by exactly by an angle of 90 degree. So the input current I which is nothing but the phasor sum of all the three currents will either lead the supply voltage or either lag the supply voltage or it will be in phase volt, uh, in phase with the supply voltage as the resonance right that will depend upon the value of L and C because we are uh, uh, keeping this value of resonance fixed. Right? So what we will do, we will change the inter, inter, interchange the value of L and C to see the resultant uh, phasor of current with respect to this supply voltage PAC. Right? So in our case, if suppose the case is like that, uh, like that our capacitance is dominating. Right? So if our capacitance is dominating over the value of L, our current phasor will lead the supply voltage by some angle depending upon the value of capacitance. Right? So that phasor at that time, our phi, Will be leading right so if because it's l and c they are uh, variable in a they we can interchange those values if my value of uh, inductance is as such so that dominates this value of c so in that case the in the, that the current this input current that will be lagging in nature at that time so what is actually happening the locus of current is changing from this position to this position to this position depending upon the value of L and C, right? So, so the locus is crossing this phase as well, the voltage phase, that in that case, the current and voltage will be in phase if, if it is across this red line. So, at that time, the value of IL and, I, uh, and IC will be adjusted in such a way that means the, the magnitude will be same, but they are in, uh, in phase of portion. So the IL plus fine, they, they will cancel out their effect. Right at that time, our input current will be only the resistive current IR. That's the condition of resonance. And the same will be seen at the setup. Okay. So this is our setup. You can see we have the power quality analyzer here, the watt meter. Then we have the resistive load bank this capacitor load bank and the inductor load bank right now we have connected only the resistor load bank as uh, already in the phaser you have seen the voltage and the current are in the phase as you can see here the the bigger line is the voltage line and the shorter one is the current line so they are in the phase now what i will do i will first connect the load here i will switch this on and uh, i will give some capacitance when i will add the capacitance you can see the angle uh, has uh, increased as the current is leading this voltage by some angle the more i will increase the uh, this capacitance you can see the uh, phase angle is increasing you can see the phase angle is increasing now what i will do i will switch on the inductive load bank in parallel with r r and c you can see what, what will happen when i will switch on the l load you can see I have switched on the L load. Now the current is lagging. So that means the L is dominant right now. So what I will try, I will now try to decrease the L and try to get the resonance. 
as in resonance you know uh, this um, voltage uh, uh, phasor will be in uh, phase with the current as now i will try to decrease now the inductance as i will try to decrease the inductance you can see the current is now trying to uh, match the voltage phase right now you can see the voltage and the uh, the current and the uh, voltage are in same phase so this is the resonance you can see in the waveform as well that the current and voltage are in the same phase